Scorpio. So, your theme is miracles and magic. Oh. This is a kind of a third eye I made out of clay. Tell me if y'all dig that. If you would buy something like that. I mean, it's kind of like because you can see there's a lot of texture. It's not the best thing I've ever done, so I would do it a lot better, but it's just flat on the back. I made that out of clay. I made it out of clay. Yeah. Would you like something? Would you buy something like that? I feel like it's a protective thing that I made. I love clay. Clay is awesome. If you want to find a hobby, go to the dollar store, get some clay, fuck around with it, see if you like it, and then go to a store and get some and actually make some shit. Like I made a pipe. It's not here, but I made so much stuff with clay. Oh my gosh. You just put it in the oven and you cook it and then it, it hardens and it sets. I made a lot of flowers, a lot of flower heads, some, some jewelry. Clay is pretty cool. Anyways, miracles and magic. Let's do this Scorpio. What is coming in? What is this about? Whoa! Oh my gosh, I have never pulled this card before. Love Call? I've had the other two, but I don't think I've ever had Love Call. Actually, yeah, we'll pull some of those. Love Call, Cassette, and Hand of Cards. Anything else, Flip? Now, oh, we got camera. Like with this cassette and camera, somebody might be. All right, I don't think this is somebody you know. Okay, this is like okay. I feel like somebody is gonna take a risk. Okay, the hand of cards is a risk. Okay, because anybody that knows anything about fucking dealing with cards, it's a risk. Even doing tarot is a risk. Everything is a risk when it comes to cards, okay? And now I'm kind of getting like Boardwalk Empire kind of style of like gambling. Yeah, this person's taking a huge risk, okay? But they're doing, they're, they're, they're being strategic, okay? So somebody is, um, the cassette. With the cassette and the camera, I feel like someone is going to let you know. Someone's got a message for you, okay? And they're going to let you know that they've been thinking about you. And, um, yeah, I mean, I would say this is, okay, I would say this is somebody you know. And they never anticipated getting a second chance. Okay, so like this is somebody that burned their bridge with you. Yes, burned their bridge with you so bad that they never ever imagined that you would talk to them again. Because they keep replaying. That's what this cassette's about then. They just keep replaying these events over and over and over and over and over in their head. Like, like I don't know what you did to this person, but you changed them. I think, I think you changed somebody and they are going to give you this message. They're going to call you. I feel like they're just going to straight gangsta like back in the nineties and just pick up the phone and call you. No text messaging, no email. Like this is a call. Like I've never seen a phone. So I even have a deck and I've got alert call message and I always feel like it's a message, you know, but this is like someone picks up the phone and calls you like, Oh, Okay. This little bunch. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's got the message here. This knight of king. This knight of kings. <laughs> knight of swords. They've got some. They're coming in caught and heavy. Like this is coming in fast. Oh my god. Then the knight of cups. What the fuck? Which is a totally different direction. Like, see these, see how they're suddenly go di different directions? Like, this person who comes in and says something is already on their way out the door. Like, they're just gonna call you and say something, and like, they're already on their way to like hang up the phone, and then you're like, 
what? And they're like, oh my God, you're going to say something? And then they turn around, right? It's, it's like, whoa. Okay, what else? Oh my gosh, look at Then we got Aquarius with a star. I just dropped on the floor. Um, I feel like this is, this, this is a connection, okay, for one. And I feel like you've been wishing for this person to come back. Okay, I almost, yeah, like, look at this. You're not taking no offers. And this person doesn't know that. Like, you could have said something flat out fucked to somebody that's like, you are nothing. You are no good piece of fucking shit. Get out of my life. I fucking hate you. And this person was like, oh my, bleep, you know, and just went and changed their whole life. Like, was like, that's unacceptable. If this person thinks I'm garbage, this person was everything to me. And then we've got n nine of pentacles. So this person is balling. This person's like, yo, I got money now. Like, this person got some money, okay? And then the world. So that seals the deal. Right away, you're like, oh, okay, so you're not a broke fucking loser anymore? They're like, no, no. I have like three cars. Okay. <laughs> fucking Vin Laden. Oh my God, I'm getting Vinny Paz in my head right now. Vinny Paz is like my favorite rapper in the entire world. And he's rapping a song to me right now. Brick Wall. Oh, that's an old one. Like, you... Wow. Something is like... You think the storm in New York is bad. <laughs> Like, what this person said put up a fucking wall between you two. And was like, you ain't getting through that fucking wall if you try. And then this, oh, now all I can see is see this eagle on the top. This person was like, okay, well, if I can't walk through the wall, I'm just going to fly over it. <laughs> Tasty, motherfucker. Okay, this guy's getting crafty now. Look at this. And then there's the king of swords, who I believe has a eagle with him, right? Or a falcon. Yeah, so he's... What I say? So you put up a wall. You must have blocked this person. You did something, and they they're gonna find a way to get this message because then they got a falcon. You know what you do with falcons? You train them. You train falcons to leave and then come back, right? It's almost like an owl. Yeah, I sent a fucking owl with a message. Yeah, you, they did. They're gonna send an owl with a fucking message if they can't call you. They're they're gonna get through the wall, and it's actually kind of weird that this message is um, coming through because like recently this kind of same situation happened to my sister like like mad recently and i'm just saying like like some people you know they disappear for a long time and you don't know where they've been because this could be like you know two or three years i mean how like let's see yeah we got a little time how long has it been between these people Like, okay, now I'm seeing, see how old this kid is? Like, this person could have went off and had a kid, and the kid's like 9 or 10 already. Like, so this could be 10 years. You haven't heard from this person. Oh, here we go. Look at that. 8 of 1. Something in movement, and that's 8. So, like, 8 years? 8 months? 8 years, 8 months. And then we got 4. And like I, like I said, like, that kid. I'm not really good with kids' ages, but I would say, like, He's, I would say, eight, nine, or ten. You know, depends how big a little boy is, right? Like, I can't, I don't fucking know how old kids are these days. Jesus. Um, but, like, she even had a kid, you know? So, like, it's been a long fucking time between you guys. And that's why it's like, they're going to figure out how to message you. They're going to figure out how to call you. Like, like, this person's had to go through the grapevine and back to get your number. And you might not even have changed it, but you've blocked them or something, you know, and, and so they have to, they don't know that you've blocked them. So they keep getting your voicemail or something like that. And they're like, well, they have to change their phone or like, you know, and then they just change their number. Then they get through to you, you know, like something is fucked. And like, you only blocked them. You're only doing this because they were a loser before. If there's another Falcon. Yeah. Something with birds here, like birds are coming through. And the galaxies have lined up. The stars have lined up. Like, this person's lined up now. That's why it's eight of wands. Like, they're lined up to do this. Like, they can't keep going over everything in their head. It's almost like... It's almost like now... It's, I, I kind of feel bad for this person because now it's like... It's like they have the, 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 the script 
of what to say, you know, like they've just been going over in their heads like, okay, I'm going to tell them this. So then like they don't hang up the phone and then I'm going to tell them this and then like hopefully they don't hang up the phone and like I don't even know if they're going to pick up the phone and it's like, holy shit, like this person's taking a huge risk because they are not showing their hand. They didn't, they, they're, they, you don't know what's going on with them. So it's not like they've got some like open social media that like, you know, that they're like some fucking millionaire now or some fucking real estate agent now or somebody who's got their shit together. Like, like everybody's hiding. It seems like things are hiding. Cause no one's showing their hand. That's, that's what I can see, not showing their hand. Because if you don't know what to say, why say anything at all? Until you have the words to say, until you know what you want to say, and then it's going to be like, you know, they just come, might come shouting at you. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh my God! And then they're like, I'm, I'm sorry. I've been wanting to say that for 17 years. You know, like, and you're like, whoa, like, that's kind of out of left field, but okay, we can talk about it. Like, yeah, this is something. Karmic relationship, yeah, like, woo, letting go and loving you still, like, yeah, like, there's some kind of, uh, some kind of twist of events coming in here, and like, you're not gonna see this coming. And now I hear Scorpio. I just did a reading for Scorpio. This person could be a Scorpio because this is, no, oh, this is Scorpio. The fuck am I talking about? I just did a Leo reading. That's what it is. Okay, this, yeah, this is definitely Scorpio. Like somebody, this could definitely be a Scorpio coming in, and you're not a Scorpio, but you know this Scorpio. And that's the thing. Let me know if you're a Scorpio down below. Okay. I only know bad Scorpios. So as you can see, you're the last sign of this. I need some good Scorpios. I need some, some people to give me some good faith in Scorpio. So let me know if you're a Scorpio. Then I can think of you when I do these readings. You know what I mean? It's a very small channel. It's likely going to be about you. Anyways, hope it resonates. Moonshine out. Have a good one.